Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to episode 3 of Red Dead Redemption right here on Chrono Cord Gaming along with C-Dub. My name is JC. Damn, Marston. What'd you do? Dropped a nasty deuce in there. Better light a match or something. Yeah, it looks like John was on the John. Laid down a little constitutional there as we take a look at the map here in Red Dead Redemption. Man, what a huge map this is. And we're zoomed in. We're going to zoom out a little bit here and show you just how expansive this map is. As you can see to the south of the river there, we have Mexico. But for now, we're going to be worrying about uh, the middle here. We're, of course, going from McFarland's Ranch into Armadillo. Looks like we're on a mission to find the Marshal, JC. Yep. At the end of the last episode, Bonnie McFarlane suggested that we go to the Marshal and seek some help with Bill Williamson. So that's what we're going to do. Going to hop on the horse here and head to Armadillo and see if there's any stragglers along the way on the path. Now, sometimes we will not show you the entire journey here. We're going to do some fast forwarding, but on this, I'm going to show the trip from the ranch over to Armadillo. Now, it does tell you some directions on how to get over there. C-Dub, some very interesting things do happen along this trail while you're on horseback. Oh, yes. Much like the real Wild West at the turn of the century, there's going to be all kinds of bandits and con men, snake oil salesmen, all kinds of stuff we're going to have to watch out for, and maybe even some folks we're going to have to help. But as we pull up here to the precipice here of this cliff, what a fantastic view this is over this canyon. Yeah, it's beautiful, dude. Looking at the Rio Grande. Now going back to some uh, cool things that we come across on the path here, we do run across a lot of animals too, and they will attack you. So beware. I have a feeling some predators are on the loose. And, you know, this was... Over a hundred years ago, there wasn't very good wildlife population control back then, so things were running wild everywhere. Oh, yeah. In the Wild West, of course, it was a kill or be killed mentality. There was not a lot of real civilized life at this time, at least not here in Red Dead Redemption. We are going to be dealing with the other side of the law, Specifically, Bill Williamson, as we make our way here into Armadillo and meet up with the Marshal. Maybe he can give us some info on Bill Williamson. You have a feeling that the sheriff is probably afraid of Bill Williamson and probably wants nothing to do with him. But it's kind of interesting here. We're seeing John, the former outlaw try to build an alliance with local law enforcement, with the sheriff. Let's see what he has to say. Political realities in Armadillo. Well, looks like we have a cell here. Typical Wild West jail cell. Oh. This must be one of the deputies. I think I see a badge there. He sounds way too stupid to be the marshal. Yeah. It's always the uh, kind of comic relief. You got the stupid deputy working for the wise old sheriff who we have yet to meet. And we have a convict in the prison there. I wonder what he's locked up for. Well, it doesn't uh, look like this deputy is too, too concerned with him escaping. Uh, necessarily here must not be too much of a threat oh whoa now <laughs> don't speak so soon easy there smart guy just uh put the gun down whoa 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 oh no you don't afraid not you're gonna have yourself a hole in your head pilgrim jonah that's a nice name for a moron now, C-Dub, this sheriff very much reminds me of those wise old lawmen that Clint Eastwood or 
whomever was the hero in the movie would come to town and meet with. Yeah, it would certainly benefit Marston to be on the right side of the law if he is indeed trying to turn his life around as he has said and stay on the straight and narrow, perhaps, sheriff, uh, excuse me, marshal. I guess he would be the sheriff of Armadillo as well. The Marshal Johnson probably be a fantastic ally for John Marston, but if he doesn't stay in line, we see these cells here where we're going to end up. I bet the food here is pretty bad. I would have to agree with you, man. Now the Marshal is claiming that Bill Williamson is not in his district here and he has no jurisdiction Though, you would think that a guy trying to protect the people of Armadillo and surrounding areas would want to get rid of an outlaw like Bill Williamson. Now, his job is to keep this town safe, but uh, I think John's going to need a little extra help, and Marshall's going to have to go above and beyond his call of duty. Yeah, it doesn't look like this Marshall here, uh, his call of duty doesn't go much beyond this desk. I think he might have strolled out for uh, some smokes or perhaps some female company here in Armadillo. We've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, old Jake knows much about that. I'm sure he's hooked up Marshall here with a few ladies of the night. Well, what's happening here? Getting a shot of whiskey. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. Aha, so we have a little bit of chicanery here going on with the marshal apparently people are offering their money to have him turn a blind eye and the other marshals and law dogs in the territory that probably was a big problem in the wild west with corrupt law enforcement there wasn't a whole lot of the over the watchmen in those days it was more a free-for-all as we can see here in Armadillo, and as we'll see going forward. Thank you for the shot, Marshal. Well, looks like John's persistence is starting to pay off. Let's go and help the Marshal take care of some business here. Follow him down the street to the saloon. See what's going on. I'm sure some troublemakers are at it again. Main Street Armadillo. Man, this place is a real sprawling metropolis. I'm telling you, we got a general store. Looks like we have a gunsmith saloon, of course, the marshal, and the train station. Now, this train station is going to be a major point of interest coming up in the future as well with the marshal. We'll have to touch on that whenever we get to it. Making our way up here to the saloon. I hope that there's no trouble awaiting us. Oh boy, I think there is. Got a drunk bastard getting on his horse here. We must follow him and see where the hideout is, where he leads John and the marshal. Let's uh, whistle over our horse here and hop on. Come on, horse. Get on over here. Yeehaw, buddy. There we go. We have ourselves a steed. Come on, Marshal. Get your ass on that horse. One of the Walton gang is who we are tailing. Now he seems like he's a bad guy with a bad reputation around town. But apparently, straight up justice is not how the law works, according to the Marshal. And obviously, these outlaws can't be reasoned with, so we're going to have to use some force against them. Now, we don't want to tail him too close and give up our location. It seems like these Walton guys are spread out over the countryside here as we see some wildlife trotting by. I'm sure the horses are scaring them off. Oh, yeah, I got to watch out for snakes out here in the desert, scorpions. Lots of those things, even though a horse is pretty big, could uh, take a horse down pretty quick. One bite from a poisonous snake and uh, your horse dies and you're stranded out in the middle of the desert. Not good at the turn of the century and certainly not good right now. Heading up to the Pleasant's house, old Donald's place. Hopefully he's all right. 
let's see what's going on as we make our way up. Uh oh. Gonna have to get into a gunfight here, C Dub. Our first major action in Red Dead Redemption. Yes. We're gonna be right here with the Marshal. I assume all of these kills will be justified by him. Hopefully, uh, we won't serve any time for these. I guess he's went ahead and deputized us for the time being in this mission, at the very least. And uh, we're going to have to help him out here, move our way from cover to cover. This is a nice little tutorial on how the cover system works and how you can slide into cover, as we saw right there, and avoid rounds coming at you from these bad guys. Yeah, the slide is really helpful in staying really low to the ground, avoiding that gunfire. Keep on advancing up here. Yep, rock by rock, step by step here, making our way towards the house. Now this gun is kind of weak, so it takes a few shots to kill these guys here, but oh, damn it, sorry horse. Hey, you're going to the glue factory. <laughs> All right, got a couple more guys here. Take some cover here behind the outhouse. Uh, some of the things in this game, you know, that I'm really looking forward to for a new Red Dead is that a lot of these old structures on next gen, perhaps Rockstar could program in that they don't last. If you keep getting shot through them, they're eventually going to fall apart and not provide you any more cover. As you may have heard in previous episodes, we're all for a new Red Dead game on next gen. Hopefully that's one of the things that we'll see. JC, it looks like we have done the marshal well here in our service. We have cleared out Pleasant's house, and the marshal is on his way. Very good. Glad to be of service to you, marshal. Now, if you saw the screen while Cedo was talking there, there is a bounty system, and the guy had a bounty on him. Unfortunately, I accidentally shot him through the heart. Did not mean to do that. If you shoot the guy and keep him alive, you will get more money. And you will gain positive honor, as you see right there. I had minus 100 honor. C-Dub, we haven't decided whether we should make John a hero or anti-hero yet. Oh, Coyotes, we're getting attacked. Oh, man. As I mentioned before, some crazy stuff happens out here on the path and off of it. And what do you know? We get jumped by some coyotes. Let's take them out. Yeah, one of the coolest things about this game that this game in introduced is the trading system where you can skin wildlife. It is quite imperative that you make sure to skin all the animals. Money and ammo are somewhat scarce to come by, so you have to make sure that if you're going to shoot somebody or something that you get the drops from that animal or person so that you can keep building your riches and progress further in the game, pick up better weapons, etc. As we're doing right here, making quite a bit of money. You cannot escape, coyote. All right, here we are skinning it, getting the raw materials. You can sell those at shops, and they also trigger challenges, I do believe. And what do you know, there it is. You have started the first rank of the Master Hunter Challenge. So that means basically we have to go around and kill everything and collect their pelts. That was a fun challenge when I initially played the game years ago. And we'll have to check out these challenges in the menu in another episode. There are many, many different challenges relating to all the facets of the gameplay in a Red Dead Redemption. Hunting just being one of them. As you just saw, I went to John's kit and selected Campsite which allows you to travel to destinations, save your game, change your outfit, or leave. C-Dub, this is certainly helpful while John is out here in the wilderness. Yeah, the fast travel is one of the most handy features that we can have. I'm sure we're going to be using it plenty. I'm going to go ahead and save our game here, and I think that's going to do it for Episode 3, folks. Make sure to subscribe to Chronocord Gaming for all of our Red Dead Redemption content, as well as our original instrumental music and video game content, TV's music, and more. For JC, this is C-Dub. Happy trails.